Hey guys, hopefully you watched my instruction video that was posted on this playlist on YouTube. Um, otherwise, I explained what a make test was, what a break test was, some positioning pearls, and then also some thoughts on cueing. Um, but there's a separate video on all that. This one is just to simply teach you guys my sequence and how it's done on a micro FET. And again, this is specifically for a hip test. A lot of therapists and athletic trainers have access to micro FET. So hopefully this will uh, decrease the barrier into hip testing. Um, the main difference between testing with the micro FET versus a app-based dynamometer, uh, there's other videos for that that's posted as well, is that this one, we do not have to be dictated by what the software makes us do. Um, so on this one, you'll notice that I'm gonna test the legs and movements in different areas. So I may not go from right to left on an abduction. I might go from abduction left to adduction right right away. Um, but we are gonna get everything tested and that's just to one, make things quicker and then minimize positioning on my part and then repositioning on the patient's part. So for this one, we're gonna start with testing. Uh, this athlete's name is Miss Stacy. We're gonna test Miss Stacy's left side first. For the sake of this, her injured side is gonna be her right and then her uh, uninvolved side is gonna be her left. Stacy, I'm gonna go ahead and have you lay down on your right side and go ahead and scoot a little closer to me. So for the sake of this video, just make things quick, I'm gonna only go through one rep. If you took my course, I go into whether to look at average, max, or how many reps. But for the sake of this one, we're just doing one rep just so you guys could see the sequence of it. And again, I'm gonna go in my order, I'll call it out, but I'm gonna move through it pretty fast just so you guys can see the sequencing and how it looks real speed. All right, so the first thing we're gonna look at is gonna be abduction. So Stacy, let's have do left-sided, uninvolved side. So you're gonna go ahead and um, when I say go, you're gonna hold and try to fight my force as best as you can, okay? If you wanna hold onto the table, that's fine as long as you keep it consistent between each rep and each test, okay? So ready and go. Hold it, hold it, hold it, and rest, good. Good, I'm gonna put that in my sheet and that's gonna be 36.7, type that in, and then I'm gonna go ahead and test your involved a deduction. And let's have you scoot more on the table, scoot your hips forward, good. And then let's get this leg straight, make sure your thigh's not touching your foot, good. We're gonna lift it up here, hold here. Um, don't let me beat you, okay, I'm gonna push down, ready? And go, push, 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 and rest, good. And I'm gonna enter that for her involved adduction, that's 33.7. And then next, I'm gonna go ahead and have you lay on your stomach. And for this one, I'm gonna test external rotation of your right side, your involved side. So I'm gonna go ahead and have you start here. I'm gonna have my arm position here. I'm gonna pull, ready? Resist me as best you can, okay? And go, come on, fight, 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 and rest, good. And then from there, I'm gonna go into here. I'm gonna test internal rotation. I'm gonna start here and go. Fight it, fight it, fight it, and good. And then I'm gonna move my positioning. So I'm gonna go here now. I'm gonna test external rotation of the left side, the uninvolved side. Start here, ready, and go. Push, 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 good. Start down here. And then we're gonna go type that in. And then from there, we're gonna go here. We're gonna go uh, into rotation. And we're gonna push that in, push, 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 good. And then from there, so that would be, on that one would be involved into rotation. I'm gonna type that in. And then from here, I'm gonna, Stacey, I'm gonna go ahead and have you lay on your left side facing that way. And we're gonna test your involved abduction. And go and rest. All right, when I say go, you're gonna hold against, or uh, try to hold, and uh, don't let me beat you, okay? Ready, and go. Hold it, hold it, hold it, and rest, good. So for there, that's gonna be involved abduction. And then we're gonna do adduction now. So we're gonna move this down and get this leg straight. Let's have you scoot more on the table. Right there, good. And then we're gonna go here, hold there, ready, 
and go. Push, 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 and good. I'm going to record there. That's going to be uninvolved a deduction. And then from here, I'm gonna have you lay on your back now. And we're gonna go into a five second squeeze test. So Stacey, this one's gonna be five seconds long. You're gonna squeeze both legs together, not just one at a time. And at the end, you're gonna tell me if there's any pain, okay? You can do a gradual buildup if you need. You have five seconds to reach your peak, okay? Ready and go. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. Come on, push, 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 and rest. How much pain do you have? Two. Good, so there's record two out of 10. And then I'm gonna look at force and record that. And then from here, we're gonna look at right side flexion, involved side flexion. And I'm gonna go and have you resist it, resist it, resist it, and good. I'm gonna jot that down. And then we're gonna go left side. Resist it, resist it, resist it. I'm gonna jot that down. And then with the calculations, it tells me the percentage difference side to side. I'll go over that with the athlete. Um, but that's how I would use, I would go through hip strength testing with a handheld datamometer, specifically the MicroFET, or any other kind of standalone datamometer. Again, it's me dictated by how much I want the athlete to move, how much I want to move versus what a app tells me because I won't be using it that way. Um, so if you have any questions, make sure you ask them in the comment section. Um, be sure to check out descriptions. I have my calculation sheet there for you and other resources you can look at. Uh, if you want to learn uh, more about dynamometry, forest plates, or you have questions in general about the testing process, be sure to look out for uh, my upcoming courses around the US. That'll be coming out to different states soon, but hope to see you there and hope to engage with you online. Thanks and have a good one.